A folder or directory is a location on a computer to store and organize multiple files and subdirectories. Python has a module named OS that makes it really easy to work with directories and file management tasks. In this video, we will learn to use the OS module to perform various directory operations like creating, renaming, and removing directories with the help of examples. So let's get started. Before we learn to work with directories, let's see how we can get the path to the current directory first. For that, we use the getCWD function of the OS module. It returns the current working directory as a string. I'll go to my text editor. First, I need to import the OS module. So I'll say import OS. Then I can say current underscore dir or current directory equals OS dot get CWD. And now let me print this variable print current underscore dir. I'll save this file, run the code, say python main.py, and when I press enter, then you can see that it printed the location of the main.py file or the current directory. In Python, we can change the current working directory by using the chdir method of the OS module. As we saw in our previous section, the present working directory is the directory containing our Python file by default. Let's change the current working directory. I'll start with the old code and I'll say os.chdir and inside these quotation marks, let me put this location and then instead of os, I'll say exceptions, which is the location of the file from the previous video. So here I'm trying to change the default location and then let me print os.getcwd again to confirm that the current working directory has been changed. So let me run python main.py. As you can see, os.getcwd first gave me the os folder where main.py was located. When I change the default directory by using os.chdir, then when I call os.getcwd again, this time I get the new directory which I had set as the default directory here. Now if I create a file inside the current directory, our file will be created inside this exceptions folder and not this OS folder. Let me show this in action. So here I'll write to a new file. I'll say with open test.txt. I'll do that in write mode and I'll call the file pointer f. Then I'll say f.write. This is a test file. Now when I press run, python main.py, a new file has been created. And this file, if I check here, then you can't see that file in the OS directory. Instead, if I go to the exceptions directory, you can see that test.txt file has been created. And inside it, you can see that this is a test file is there. That means Python is considering the exceptions directory to be the current directory for opening file test.txt in write mode. In Python, all files and subdirectories inside a directory can be retrieved using the listdir function of the OS module. And I'll say print os.listdir. And let me run this. So I say python main.py. And you can see a list of all the files and folders inside this python videos directory can be seen here. I can also pass an optional path argument to listdir to return files and subdirectories from a specific path. So here I can say exceptions. And if I run this program again, then you can see the files that are inside the exceptions directory. By the way, if you're finding this video useful, a sub to the channel would be awesome. Before moving to the next section of the video, the programmers team has created an app that allows you to learn Python from your phone. The app contains bit-sized lessons that are easier to understand, a built-in interpreter so that you can run Python on your phone, quizzes, and many more features. The app is available on both iOS and Android. The links are in the video description. We can create a new directory using the mkdir function of the OS module. In my code editor, I'll say os.mkdir test. And I can run this code. So I'll say Python main.py. And if I go into the folder, I can see that there's a new folder called test. If I wanted this text directory to be created in a specific path, I can use the full path location like this. So here 
I will say MKDIR exceptions slash test and now let me run this. So, python main.py and if I go inside the exceptions folder, then you can see that there is a test folder inside the exceptions folder. We can rename any directory or file using the rename function of the OS module. Let me show you how OS dot rename and inside this let me pick any file so or folder I'll call I'll rename test. So here I'll say test and I can say test new and now if I run this if I run this code so I'll say python main.py then if I go back to my folder structure you can see that test has been renamed to test new. As you just saw the rename method takes two arguments the current name of the folder or file and the new name of the folder or file. The rename function can also be used to rename a file with the same exact syntax. I encourage you to change the name of a file on your own and let me know if it worked in the comment section. We can remove a file using the remove function of the OS module. So I'll go to my folder list and I can see that there's an exceptions 4k.mov file here. I'll remove it using Python. So on my code editor, I'll say print first. Let me start by listing all the files and directories in this folder. And here I'll say python main.py. As you can see, there is a file called python module. Or let's remove this one. So I want to remove python modules.mov. Next, I'll say os.remove python modules dot mov and then let me again print os dot list dir just to make sure that python modules has indeed been removed. So now I will say python main dot py and as you can see python modules is not here python modules dot mov is not here anymore. To remove a directory we use the rmdir function. One thing we need to remember when removing a directory is that the directory must be empty otherwise an exception will be raised. Now we currently already have an empty directory called test new in our current directory which we have created before. To remove this directory I will change my previous code and here I will say os.rmdir and here I will say test new. Now let me run this first let me clear the screen here I will say python main.py and now you can see that test new is here before but it's not in the new list or I can also verify this visually. So you can see that test new folder is no longer there. That means it has been removed. That's it for this video. If you want to revise these concepts, you can find all these programs in our GitHub repository. I'll also put this link in the video description and if you like this video, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next one. Happy programming.